All right, Pisces. So <laughs> letting some follow Santo. Let's do another read for the Pisces Collective. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this Piscean reading. Let's pick up on a different collective energy from the Piscean people. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Jupiter, Pisces. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. Please cleanse my space. Please cleanse me. Archangel Michael, please protect me while I deliver these messages for the collective. Thank you and amen. Let's get a message for Pisces for the next 72 hours. What messages, Holy Spirit, do we have for Pisces? Three cards. First card, oh, we got the mask, we got the flowers, and what else? CM, maybe significant, Q. Um, we got number 40, number 9. And the dog, loyalty, friendship. Let's see. Let's get three cards from the Kipper deck to clarify this reading. What additional messages do you have? Something here is like day and night. Green and gold may be significant. Red as well. Someone may also smile in your face and then really um, like you see it's like this this person has a smile this one's like straight faced it's like two sides to this person so we have great fortune here we have mature male One more. And journey. Okay, so you have the sun right here. I was going to say Leo Pisces Cancer earlier because the sun and the moon. Um, and I just realized we have the sun on the bottom of the other deck when I put it up and we have official person on the bottom of this deck. Okay, so number 40. Let's see, shall we? The mask. Look deep into your soul. For whose amusement do you play? I balance the contradictions and encompass the opposites. I protect your emotions, project, excuse me, not protect. I project your emotions and, or hide them. When I land to your right, I bring joy to the light. But if my presence is to your left, then melancholy is in sight. And this is on my left. Um, so melancholy is in sight. I can be the face to suit any occasion. All parts I can play, the truth or disguise. I am your creation. So something may be surrounding some type of money. Great fortune here. Hmm. All right. Number nine. Flowers. Beauty in a happy face is what I bring. I am the gift that warms your heart. I am recovery from your well-being. No matter what card is before me, I will always change it positively. Okay. Uh, before that is the mask. So the mature man. Maybe somebody's changing. Okay. Maybe somebody's changing into a mature man. If somebody was once wearing a, wearing a mask, This person may be maturing. I don't know. Okay, they may be changing for the better. Y'all heard what I just read. 
After that comes the dog, okay? So the dog symbolizes loyalty and friendship is what I stand for. I am protection and trust, support and reliance. When negative cards are around me, make sure to take a closer look. I could be your counselor, your pet, or your best friend. Okay, and then you have the journey. So I don't know if someone's traveling towards you or taking a trip or you're going on a trip or traveling or whatever. Somebody here may have some type of great fortune or someone may be very abundant. This could be someone who's older. So maybe someone was wearing a mask because, um, you know, it's like, um, you know, if you are somebody who's of wealth or status, it's like you got to watch who your fucking friends are, right? Or watch who you're entangling with because there's so many people out there that are money hungry and gold digging energies, you know, so somebody may have been wearing a mask, but maybe somebody's like coming towards you in a more mature way. Official person and what did I say? The sun on the bottom. I'm going to read that one for you guys too, because I think it has a slightly different meaning than um, the traditional tarot. So the sun, I am success. Hear me roar. Control your ego and your charisma. I boost your confidence and your courage. I bring victory and glory, but be careful not to get too cocky or you'll be burned like burned by arrogance like Icarus. Okay. Hmm. I do feel like there's something that's a little off here. I'm not going to lie. Underneath that, you have the rats, the little sneaky mice. You know, so I don't know if somebody did something. And then the four leaf clover. Yeah, if somebody did something like for some type of fortune or this could be an official person or maybe someone was. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Somebody may have stole something from an official person, some type of worker or. Uh, oh. Yeah, someone may have stole something from an official person. Because this mask, I can't, if I read it up to down, fuck the flowers. All right, depends on how I'm reading it. Somebody was, somebody, somebody's two-faced, okay? And it's involving money or great fortune. Hmm. What deck do I want to use? Let's use this deck. Alright, so I'm not going to make this too long. If somebody's coming towards you, I would be... If somebody's coming towards you, offering you some type of love, I don't freaking know, y'all. You guys are probably like, just fucking read the cards. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have my water. Okay. Show me the mask. The chariot. Cancerian energy. Again, travel, forward movement. Two of, sword, two of Swords and the Hermit. Hmm. There's something that you don't see that I feel like your guides are trying to get you to see. Virgo Cancer Energy. Someone here has rose-colored glasses on. Someone's also... 
maybe has a choice between two. Or just a, a hard choice or a decision here that had to be made. That needs to be made that someone's sitting on the fence about. What's this great fortune about? Wheel of Fortune, Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody was watching someone's great fortune here. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, maybe. The High Priestess. Oh shit, Pisces. Somebody may have went and read your birth chart and uh, or there's something here about like maybe somebody went to a spiritualist or a high priestess and so read someone's birth chart and realized that someone was very fortunate or coming into some type of money or somebody had a good destiny. I'm also getting there could be someone here at the Pisces North Node. Some of these flowers. Three of Cups. Five of Wands. One more. Nine of Wands. Someone may have rushed in. It could have been some type of celebration. A reunion. Could be some fighting, some arguing, some competing, some. Where did I put that book? Um, oh my gosh. Sorry about that. Okay, so beauty and happy face is what I bring. Hmm. So, I don't know. Someone may have rushed in and like reconciled, gave somebody, I don't know, some type of a gift. But there's fighting or drama. What's this Five of Wands about? Could it be someone that rushes in and rushes out? Could it be someone at parties? So there's some type of fighting over some type of wish fulfillment, or maybe even fighting over you, Pisces, Nine of Cups. Someone may have came in really quick and left just as quick, Nine of Wands, reconciled. Maybe there's, you know, a get together, a gathering. And it's, there could have been some type of drama. Why is the dog here? Why is the dog here? Knight of Cups. So someone may have like wanted to heal a situation or came in very romantic, very charming, or an apology, or somebody's wanting to come in with some type of an apology, maybe some honest, truthful communication. This person may be coming towards you rather quickly. You got a whole lot of night energy here, too. So what's up with this mature man, then? Mm -hmm. Nine of Pentacles. This man may be single. King of Swords could have been divorced or unmarried. Could be an Aquarius or Gemini. Doesn't have to be. This person could be, you know, a legal official or someone who's, yeah, the King of Pentacles. This is someone who's very stable. This is a business owner. Okay, this person's very... Uh, 
I'm look or this person's very intellectual, very intelligent, makes good business decisions, loyal, committed, trustworthy, honest. This person could be all about their money. Like, look at this energy, y'all. <laughs> this is definitely a masculine here. I mean, this mature man. This is a smart businessman, whoever this is. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or someone with Earth and Air placements. Ah, Ace of Pentacles. Damn, golden opportunity. This person may be giving or receiving some type of a golden opportunity or got some type of a, a large token, a gift, a payout, or is giving one. Show me journey. This reading is crazy. The hanging man in the reverse. Seven of wands. Journey. Pisces, you may have gotten yourself out of a situation, gotten yourself unstuck. Okay, set up some type of boundaries. Maybe some of you guys are traveling, thinking about traveling. Um... Some of you guys may be blocking someone as well who, uh, Ten of Swords, yeah. Yeah, some of you guys are setting up boundaries because there was some type of a harsh, painful ending. Someone refuses to see your point of view or you refuse to see someone else's point of view or someone here has just gotten themselves unstuck. Why is the Ten of Swords here? A page of Cups. Nine of Wands. There could be something going on at a distance as well. You may just feel like battle fatigue, tired, wore down, tired of dealing with something. There could be a betrayal surrounding a message of a child possibly. Page of Cups in the upright is typically a message of good news. I see you standing your ground or someone here is standing their ground. I don't know what the hell this is. This is weird. What is the Nine of Wands? The Emperor. Aries energy. This reading is black. The sharp pain right here, too. Okay. Let's see. What is really going on? I feel like there's a hidden room. Somebody, this is clear. Somebody looked into someone's, like, destiny. Somebody may have also tried to stop somebody from moving forward. Trying to keep somebody isolated or stuck or stagnant in some form or fashion. But I feel like you got yourself unstuck. Someone may have betrayed you to slow you down. Or like, I don't want to say slow you down. Because there's two of swords, chariot, and the hermit. It's like... Someone tried to like... Someone refused to make a choice or a decision to 
keeps somebody like isolated from moving forward. Somebody went looking and looking into someone's like birth chart or their destiny. Someone could also be like secretly spying on you or you them. Maybe through divination or tarot or whatever. Someone here is very wealthy and abundant. That's for damn sure. This five of wands up here. What's this knight of wands actually? Seven of swords. And six of cups. So there could have been somebody who lied or cheated or stole in the past. Could have lied about children. Someone may have cheated in the past, stole something in the past. Somebody did something very quickly without thinking with a third party in order to gain some type of wish fulfillment. Someone may have caused some drama. Some type of friends may also cause some drama and someone made a decision on impulse in order to get some type of wish fulfillment. But it was deceitful. It was some, this was in the past, okay? So what's this Knight of Swords? Three of Swords, Page of Cups, The Fool. So someone's rushing in very quickly. Very decisive, focused, driven, feeling heartbroken, wanting to express... You have the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups, wanting to express their emotions or an apology, wanting to take some type of leap of faith, or maybe they did something recklessly and it ended up in heartbreak, and someone's wanting to rush in and say something. What's this Four of Swords out here? Wanting to heal a situation or some shit. It's going to be someone who you're not speaking to as well. The star. Yeah, someone wants to heal it. Somebody wants to heal a situation. Somebody wants to be loyal. Oh, so somebody could have even had some deceitful friends or siblings or people from their past who were lying to them. Or this could be you. I don't know. Take whatever side of this you're on. Somebody here is very wealthy. Of status. What's this Ace of Pentacles down here for? The world. And Eight of Pentacles. So somebody here may work. Like. Um, somebody here may work on the World Wide Web. Or do something globally, nationally. Or be very skilled at what they do. Very successful for the work that they produce. Someone here is a hard worker. Very skilled at what they do. Very successful with the world. Five of Pentacles. Wanted to show itself though. Hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm getting? Like two of cups, five of pentacles. How's that song go? I ain't got nothing if I ain't got you, babe. I ain't got nothing if I ain't got you, babe. How's it fucking go? I don't even know. I heard it and then it left. The chariot. Yeah, there's someone either traveling. Someone's traveling very quickly, too. The emperor wanting to, like, take control of the situation. What's the seven of wands down here? This could be someone who blocked you or... You've locked or set boundaries. Six of Wands. What's the same man in the reverse? Yeah, I feel like you may have like blocked somebody, moved on from somebody who was like playing mind games with you and decided to leave a situation hanging because I feel like you've something was making you feel stuck. 
Six of Swords. Five of Swords. Because there was mind games being played. Someone kept leaving you hanging. Leaving you feeling stuck. And you decided to move away. And that brought in some type of success and victory. You may have had to stand your ground against this person. So, show me the Ten of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Somebody... Uh, Ace of Cups. Somebody could have been juggling you or someone, I don't know, what's a ten of swords? Someone may have started a brand new beginning in love because someone was going back and forth, possibly. Yeah, the ten of swords. So yeah, someone here may have started something new with someone who they were juggling you with and betrayed you, stabbed you in the back, left you fucking hanging, was playing mind games. But yeah, because there was a third party heartbreak up here and somebody did something in the past, lied, there was the third party that was creating drama or conflict. Somebody did something very quickly without thinking. What's the nine of wands? Single cards, please. The nine of wands is the hermit. So somebody's done some like type of self-reflecting introspect introspection. This page of cups, two cards. No, what's the page of cups? Single card. Strength card. So somebody's trying to find the courage and the strength to come and say something and apologize because they feel like defeated or wounded or they feel uh, battle fatigued at some point. The Wheel of Fortune. Somebody's wanting a change in, in the High Priestess again. Emperor. Someone has some like secret fortune or some type of secret. I don't fucking know. Pisces. You got the Wheel of Fortune right here in the High Priestess. And then the Wheel of Fortune High Priestess right here again. Something's changing for the better. Something was like karmically meant to happen or written in the stars. Seven of Pentacles is the Emperor. This Emperor is wanting to invest into a situation or wanting to like. Yeah, the emperor again. Somebody's wanting to take charge of a situation. This person may have been watching you, wanting to send you some type of a message here or take some type of action, take control of a situation. Too many. I, again, I feel like this is someone you're not talking to, but excuse me, I feel like there was something in the past. Someone may have found out some type of secret information about some type of like great fortune. Like look, like look. <laughs> Someone may have found out some information, some secret information about somebody's great fortune. That's what we were clarifying. Somebody went looking and found out some like secret information. There was something that happened in the past though. Someone got betrayed and it could have been you, Pisces. But now it looks like somebody wants to heal something. Someone betrayed somebody for a third party. So I don't know what the fuck happened there, but uh, yeah, I feel like you set up strong boundaries. You got yourself out of a situation that made you feel stuck. You could be even still holding on to some type of pain from the situation though. With the Ten of Swords being in the, like holding on to the betrayal. But ultimately, I feel like you got yourself out of the situation. Hangman in the reverse. Like you got yourself unstuck. Unstuck. It's up and it's up. All right, Pisces. I don't know. Let me know how this story resonates with y'all. Um, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Peace.